Make sure you guys stick around until the end of the video as I'm going to be sharing with you all the details on how you can win yourself a gear bag for this upcoming football season. What's up y'all, my name is Clark Hazlitt, better known as Adventure Athlete, and welcome back to another video. Today you guys are going to get the chance to see what is inside my pro football bag. But what makes this video interesting is this past year while playing football down in Mexico, I ended up getting traded mid-season. So today you guys are going to get the chance to see two of everything as I ended up getting issued two travel bags. <laughs> Here's one of the big old bags and two of the big old bags. Now with that, let's get right into the video. I'm telling you right now, these are some big, heavy duty branded bags. Check it out. All right, let's get it. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. Do me a favor and consider subscribing down below. And for those of you guys that have been around for a while supporting me on my channel, do me a favor and click that like button to help the YouTube algorithm push out this video. Let's go! Up first, we've got not one, but two football helmets. As you guys can see here on my left, we've got a Rydell Speed dating all the way back to 2012. This is the team that I was playing for called the Cancun TB Runners. You can see here, I've got a visor and I've got a really old throwback double barred face mask on this thing. This boy lasted me about two games until Green Gridiron came in and sponsored me this past season with a brand new Rydell Speed Flex. And now as you guys can see here, this is in the Taquileros de Jalisco colors. Make sure you guys stay tuned as I'm gonna be making a video on all the details as to why I got traded. This helmet here actually used to be the same turquoise teal color as this TB Runners helmet, but I got it painted once I ended up getting traded. On my Takileto's helmet, you guys can see I've got the 808 face mask, and on both helmets, I'm rocking a shock visor. Shout out to the guys at Shock. I found that their visors are the most compatible with the Rydell Speed Flex helmets. On this helmet here, I'm also rocking an all black Sports Star chin strap with the snap on attachment. Again, Green Gridiron really did a good job with this custom helmet, and big shout out to them for sending me over. Over this helmet. I've also got the Under Armour unbranded visor clips on this helmet. I think it really adds a nice touch with the aesthetic, just not having any other brands associated to the helmet. This thing ended up getting painted just a couple days after I ended up getting traded. They did a really good job with the details on this thing. Oh Lord, look at the details. Oh. Lastly, I don't know if you guys can see, but I've also got a Nike chin strap cover on this. When it comes to my football helmet, I love to have all the different accessories on it. I didn't expect to get traded this past season, but I'm excited to now add two new helmets to my collection. Let's now get on to the next items in my bag. The next items in my bag, I've got my shoulder pads. And for those of you guys that have been following me on my channel for a while now, you know I've been rocking the SBK shoulder pads all the way back since 2012. And with the shoulder pads, I've got right here two brand new back plates, which I'm hoping to include in the giveaway at the end of the video. These Rydell SBK shoulder pads have really done a good job protecting me all the way back, like I said, since my freshman year in 2012 playing high school football. I do know there are some new companies that are coming out with brand new shoulder pads that I'm very interested and trying out. Make sure you guys stay tuned down the road as I might be making the switch. But all in all, these are the best shoulder pads that I've ever worn. Now, some of y'all might be wondering, you know I'm a quarterback. Why do I wear a back plate and not a big, bulky, 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 bulky rib protector? And the reason is, oh, because I wear myself an Evo Shield rib protector. This shirt right here, these pads fit right customized to my ribs. This is not sponsored. Big shout out to Evo Shoe because I've been wearing these things since high school as well. They're very lightweight and they've always protected my ribs. For any player, if you're worried about your ribs getting too beat up, I definitely would recommend checking out Evo Shield. Your ribs will thank you. Up next, we got jerseys on jerseys on jerseys on jerseys. So as y'all know, I was playing in Cancun for the Cancun TB Ronas. These definitely have to be the coolest jerseys that I've ever worn on a team in my entire football career. The turquoise blue is just gorgeous. It matched actually, in fact, the oceans down in Cancun. 10 out of 10 on the jerseys. We only were issued whites the entire season. So shout out to all the guys that wore their white jerseys the whole year. But I got traded. So out with the TB Ronas and in with the Tiquileros, Taquileros, Taquileros jersey. I was number 17 because I got traded halfway through the season. So I didn't get to get my number six. But I'll tell you what, green and gold looks pretty good. Your boy wore green and gold in high school. So it was cool to get the chance to bring the green and gold back. I really, really like the green here. And I don't know, down in the comments, let me know what you guys think about number 17 
I'm always gonna stick to number six. I was, however, issued a number six practice jersey, so I was still rocking the six. Only in practice, though, unfortunately. I gotta admit, the TB Rona's pants, too, the TB Rona's accents, fire. But I'll probably never play for that team again, so that's a bummer. Shout out to the TB Rona's and, uh, <laughs> anyways, y'all are gonna wanna wait for that video on the T as to why I got traded. Make sure you stay tuned. That's an interesting story I cannot wait to share with y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Up next, we got footballs on footballs on footballs. As y'all know, as a quarterback, I love my footballs, and I gotta make sure I always have the best balls when I'm out on the field. This is the first year that I ended up throwing an NFL ball. Ever since this past year, I was always throwing some type of Wilson football. And uh, let me tell you what, I am now a fan of throwing the Duke, although it's a lot bigger than a Wilson football or a Nike Vapor football, which I typically prefer. And yeah, isn't she pretty? Check it out, y'all. There's something about a football and a young man. It's a bond that can't be broken. I don't know about you guys, I used to sleep with my footballs. Now, I just throw it under my receivers. All right, anyways, awkward. One new item that is now being added to my football bag is a football conditioning kit. The biggest problem that I had down in Mexico was that the humidity was so bad that we'd sweat so much. So these footballs would just absorb all the sweat. And then because of the humidity, they'd blow up and become a pumpkin. So now I need to make sure I have this kit with me to make sure that I can keep my footballs in good condition. As you guys can see here, this one's in prime condition. But this football here is dry like some lips and needs some chapstick. So this is gonna need some love and attention here real soon. I've actually never prepped a football before so this is something that's gonna be new for me to try out. I'm definitely gonna make a video and document what it's like. I really gotta take care of my balls. Like, come on now. You know what I'm saying? Pause. Up next, we got cleats. On cleats, on turf shoes, on workout shoes. As y'all know, playing football overseas requires me to have all of my gear with me at all times as I'm traveling all over the world to different places. These are the four essential shoes that I always have with me. Starting with my Romero 3s by Nike. These are my lifting shoes. I've been wearing these for about two years now. I don't know if they make this exact style anymore, but these have to be my favorite shoes to work out in when I'm really doing a big leg day. Oh, oh, up next, We've got my turf shoes. These also work really good as golf shoes. Playing down in Mexico, there are some fields that have 1990 Astro turf. So I always gotta be prepared to have my turf shoes if I need them. And, oh, I'm, mm. And when it comes to cleats themselves, I have two pairs of cleats that I'm rocking. Right now during practice, I'm wearing the Nike Vapors. These are my go-to, they're all white, love them. Got them cleaned up down in Mexico so they're looking fresh again. These are my practice cleats and then my game cleats, yo. Look at them. Oh no, look at the details. The OG Nike Vapors from 2012. My goodness gracious. After this past season, I'm actually retiring these cleats. I wanna make sure I save these bad boys for special occasions, special events. If you guys ever see me doing some Super Bowl halftime show or something like that or some event, I'm gonna be rocking these bad boys. But we're gonna say goodbye to these cleats. I got them all cleaned up and looking pretty again. Leave a comment down in the description below what your favorite pair of cleats are. I'll tell you what, these go down in history as the best cleats ever made by Nike. It's now time to dive into some accessories, starting with towels. As y'all know, I'm a quarterback. I always gotta have a towel with me because I have sweaty hand syndrome. So I've got one, I've got two, I've got three, and I've got four towels. And just wait, y'all, this towel right here is a new one by Nike and it might just be included in the giveaway at the end of the video. Plus, I'm a quarterback. I don't wear gloves, but if I was a receiver or a DB or a linebacker or a running back or somebody who wears gloves, I might be interested in the giveaway at the end of this video. And I am curious which gloves are better, cutters, Nikes, or battle gloves? Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below, and uh, whichever comments are left the most, that's the brand that's gonna be left in the giveaway that you guys will learn about at the end of this video. <gasps> in all seriousness, playing down in Mexico with my sweaty hand syndrome, I gotta make sure I have a clean rotation of towels. One tip that I do if you guys do have really sweaty hands or you play in climate that's extremely hot is I'll put water at the base of my towel. This will all be covered with water and I'll leave the middle part dry so that if my hands do get sweaty, I'll be able to dry them off briefly with some water at the bottom of the towel and then bring them up to the middle where it's really dry and then essentially my hands are sweat free 
for about five seconds until the sweat comes back. But for gripping the football, that's a trick that's worked really well for me. You're welcome. When it comes to a girdle, you guys already know, I'm rocking the Nike Pro Combat Girdle. This thing has been doing me good all the way since college. Shout out to Linfield for these, by the way. Yeah, huh. Up next, your boy is finally making his way up in the professional leagues overseas. I got some team issued Takileto's gear. Shout out to the Takileto's. They really showed some love with the t-shirt, with the travel sweats. Like, bro, come on. The coolest part being the travel bag that's almost bigger than me. Like what? Shout out to the Takileto's. One of the coolest items that I just recently had included into my bag is a brand new custom mouth guard by Dr. Mike, who made this for me down while I was playing for the Takileto's in Guadalajara. We've got the Adventure Athlete logo and branding on the front of it. Isn't that thing cool? I'm gonna make sure to leave Dr. Mike's link down in the description below and you guys can get the chance to reach out to him to get your own custom mouth guard. Up next, we got some more accessories also that are gonna be included in the giveaway at the end of this video. Just cut cut starting with an oakley visor as y'all know i wear a shock visor but i thought i might as well include this for the giveaway at the end of the video we've also got some battle mouth guards some eye black which is a must a player coach for those of you guys that need help remembering your plays or if you're a quarterback turf tape for those of you guys that hate the feeling of having turf burn on your body after you play a game in the shower and i did include a skull cap i don't know if anyone really wears a skull cap anymore these days I might as well even just try this bad boy on and see how it fits. Wait, it's actually not a skull cap. What? It's actually a headband. I kind of wish I had my own headbands. Yup, that's right, y'all. I'm now officially going to be releasing my own headband as well as my own merchandise. As y'all can see right here, make sure you guys check out the link in the description if you guys are interested in supporting me and getting some of my merch, as well as the signature adventure athlete trucker hat. Y'all check it out in the link down below. With that, as y'all know, I got sweaty hand syndrome, but I also just got sweaty body syndrome. So I always have wristbands to go on my wrist to ensure that I am not getting too much sweat on my hands. And you can never have enough headbands to make sure the sweat doesn't get in your eyes. For those of you guys that are not wearing headbands under your helmet and you do sweat a lot, I really would recommend getting yourself one, and especially an adventure athlete. In old videos, you guys used to see me wearing shooter sleeves, triple armbands, but all y'all know that nowadays, there's no better look than guns out. Guns out, baby. My challenge for you guys this upcoming fall is to wear guns out the entire season. Even if you're having a rainy game or it's gonna be cold, I wanna see you out there with no sleeves on your arms. It's guns out season, baby. Let's go. Occasionally you can wear a shooter sleeve. I do think those are pretty drippy. But guns out is the way to go, fellas. Now as an athlete, oh my goodness, this thing is heavy. It's important to stay hydrated. I went into the store and I found this really cool looking big Gatorade jug. If I was a football player, I'd be rocking one of these and it's definitely gonna be included in the giveaway bag with some Gatorade and a little bottle. Me personally, I went to Walmart and I found this nice hard canteen. This has worked really well for me for traveling as even though I'd love to have a big Gatorade bottle, this thing is just more durable for me when I'm out on the road. You guys can also find these at Walmart for pretty cheap. They're about 13 bucks. I'm getting a little thirsty. I might need to take a sip. Now the best part for what's in my pro football bag. I'm talking about snacks, y'all. As you can see here, we've got my favorite protein bar, which is a Fit Crunch Bar. If you're down in Mexico, they just call it protein bar. You can get these at Costco, pretty much any other grocery store. I also have noon hydration pills, which are good to add to my water if I need to get some extra electrolytes in, especially a couple days before game day. And as y'all know, I got a little bit of a sweet tooth. You know I love to eat Skittles on game day, but have y'all ever tried watermelon sour patch or fruit snacks during the game? I'm talking like on the sideline after you just go drive down the field and score, they hit different. These are the hacks that nobody wants you to know. You get that quick sugar rush glycogen to replenish your body to give you that quick energy when you're out on the game. I'm putting y'all on. I, you can thank me later. Now the final travel item in my football bag. I know y'all see me out there rocking the cowboy hat. This is my signature look. For those of y'all that have been following me for a while, you know I sing country music, and you know I gotta bring that little Americana whenever I'm overseas playing in a different country. However, I did find one of these hats when I was at Dick's today, and it's a battle hat. Am I being a giveaway? I don't know. I'll tell you what right now, like, what you know about it? With that, that is everything that is in my pro football bag while overseas. 
Make sure you guys stay tuned as I am gonna be showing you guys some more behind the scenes as far as what's in my travel bag, what's in my practice bag, and just continue to share with you guys more tips and tricks on different accessories to include as y'all getting ready for the upcoming football season. For those of y'all that made it this far in the video and you wanna enter into the gear bag giveaway, all you gotta do is leave a comment down in the description below to be entered into the giveaway and I'll randomly be selecting a winner in two weeks. With that, thank y'all so much for showing love and support. I'll see y'all in the next video.